Okay. Um, hello, anyone hello. who happens to be watching this. Um, it is Fang. I also go by Ava. Um, so, I have a project that I really want to be able to make into a very cool animated concept. Um, and it's called Kokra. So, I thought it would be a really cool thing to, to kind of film me making this. Um, and I want to be able to document my experience uh, working through this. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought it would be cool to do. Um, so, um, this is just a new concept that I have, and Kokra Kokra is basically, as of now, a short where Liuli, um, Titanium's, uh, father, uh, goes out of his way to bring titanium towards a very sex-friendly um, store. And it's similar towards Spencer's in the way where it openly endorses and sells like BDSM um, products, stuff related towards kink, and your average sex toy. But with Kokora, it's meant to be a lot more inclusive towards, um, I would say, Amphibian, amphibian assigned uh, characters, um, and it it's meant to follow up Titanium after kind of dealing with a lot with his sexuality and kind of feeling having this shame complex using um, toys designated for humans specifically. Um, he basically is able to have the opportunity to pick out a toy that best res resonates with him. Um, and it means a lot towards Titanium because Titanium is very queer in the sense where he's not like an average Bayanut, I would say. Um, it's a very black coated, Asian coded story. The idea of, uh, the coming from my own experiences of what makes a black person, what makes a black person's joy or sexuality, what makes a, you know, Desi person's joy or sexuality. <laughs> and I want to give myself the liberty to make something that while it's coming from a very, like, I would say, like, <laughs> political place, it serves an honest experience for a lot of people where what does it mean to live a life you want to and then these social barriers get in the way um, of you just feeling confident and secure in your own skin. So this is definitely coming from my own experiences where I've had to contemplate, you know, am I doing myself a service of leaning more towards a part of my sexuality and, and not necessarily be focused on, on other black people or other Indian people. Um, it's definitely meant to explore the idea that people should just be able to appreciate what feels right towards them at the end of the day, and people are entitled to think any which way. But I want it to be something where it really honors um, the part of the Titanium story where even if he's a buy in it, it's okay if he leans more towards human beings, right? So I wanted to do that, and I wanted to give a love letter to that kind of experience, especially so much like like social turmoil on, around the idea that if you uh, if you're more attracted towards one particular group of people then you're like then what's wrong with you <laughs> kind of thing so i want to make something around that and yeah cool beans um i thought to share some stuff that i made just now, I want to be very, what the, oh, this is a gift that I made. <laughs> so this is kind of a backdrop idea. So um, it follows up with titanium. I'm looking at his collection of toys in his room. 
one of them is very much akin towards the penis and this is meant to be a moment where titanium is like man i feel really really guilty for having this am i am i not like proud of enough of, of a bionute do i hate other bionutes what's going on bro like why do i feel this shame and it has to do so much with just again the kind of counterproductive ideas that through trying to honor one's identity end up pushing away um i would say you 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 push away um queerness through honoring that part of yourself in the sense that the titanium and bionutes and amphibians in the story they have to push so hard for, for to recognize themselves in a in a in an appreciative way that the whole entire idea of like digging into human sexuality is something that's seen as being very very self-hateful um and it's kind of a thing in real life too where those kinds of things could happen <laughs> so he's here she's here they're here they're here uh they're just having a moment this is them like in their head and then leo actually comes and leo's like a big beautiful like i think i'll make him black to be honest <laughs> Um, he's a big, beautiful, like, um, man, and he comes in and gives Titanium a bowl of curry, and Titanium's like, thanks, thanks, Dad, I appreciate this, so he's eating it, and so I wanted to be creative, if I don't want to force myself to go, it has to be very specific towards expected technology. So Leo's like vaping here, so my opinion on vaping, um, you know, as long as your heart says it's okay, then go for it. Or, you know, it's, <laughs> um, it was interesting for me drawing Lou, Lee and other characters vaping or smoking because always growing up being so against it. Like, like I would be like one of the teenagers that would go like, oh yeah, this, those imagine vaping couldn't be me. But it's something I kind of grown into. I was like, okay, I've already brought in so much obscene stuff into my own life. And I've already exploited so many things that are arguably very, like, looked down upon. Um, into my heart where it's like, okay, something like vaping is, is just a very nuanced thing right now. So I felt safe drawing in original frames of Leo Lee. Um, <laughs> original frames in my one of my sketchbooks. I when I was originally drawing these frames out, him just uh, him just vaping next to titanium while titanium eats. So I imagine the sequence. He's like, okay, we're going to Kokra Kokra. Oh, <laughs> the spear thing. <laughs> and they're like, yippee! So it's a cool, cute idea that I have. Cool stuff. So, so I'm in the editing place here. So I just thought to say that, um, yeah, yeah, it's just meant to be like a very low pressure documentation of this of this cartoon idea that I have. Um, there's been a huge shift happening in my life where I'm starting to allow myself to promote my cartoons more um but I, uh, but this is kind of me just honoring still just letting myself just take it slow doesn't have to be flashy or overly intricate or or anything specific in particular just as long the same thing with my art like i mentioned just let it to go as it needs to let it let it just relax and ease as it needs to so i'm in like the editing area and it's just a nice reminder for anything that I do in the future that no matter what, what matters is just how I'm able to balance things. And this is part of it, in a way. Um, so I just want to say to anyone who sees this and supports um, what 
what um, discreet unity is becoming right now or was or is anything of the source um anyone who supports it right now just just thank you this is a really like intimate series for me or intimate story concept to really delve my toes into because it's already prying so much attention to shit that's happening right now in my life um and making a story where it involves what does it mean to be a marginalized character or be like a bio newt and have this pr weight or pressure to um, kind of confine yourself a certain way because what other because uh, of the circumstances these characters are going through. Um, but yeah, just thank you to anyone who supports me. There's been a boost of people supporting me on Instagram, which is awesome. And I just want to say, just again, whoever uh, whoever is out there, just it means a lot towards me that you support this cartoon. Um, it it's meant to be a really just emotionally in, intelligent concept where it explores ideas around like sex and, and sexuality um that's meant to be very low-key while also embracing the insane or embracing the cha the chaotic more chaotic concepts or things people are way more uncomfortable about um yeah <laughs> But just thank you, um, and I will see you in whatever next thing that I make. Bye!